energy drinks are gonna poison you with cyanide. What's up guys, it's Friday, and so you know what time it is. Time for What The Fitness. We have on What The Fitness, the return of Gary Brecca. Don't call to come back for Gary, he never left, he was always here. Cause he's always saying some crazy shit. So, let's see what Gary has to say this week. You ever heard of a Celsius energy drink? Celsius energy drink has four times the amount of daily cyanide that a human being is meant to ingest. Four times, that's just one sample. So drink Monster or Bang. I mean, drink Bang, not, not Monster or Celsius, right? <laughs> bang has methylcobalamin, this has cyanocobalamin. <gasps> so, and, and we wonder what, you know, we're putting these toxic chemicals. This is, you know where we get the hydrogen cyanide? Don't make me take you to that website because you'll just get up and leave. I want, where, where would, do you know where we would get? Oh, okay, we're not, we're, we're, we're just, we're just, we take that I'm getting up and leaving weapon. because I can't stand any more BS. Flammable. Cyanocobalamin has a cyanide moiety to it, okay? Moiety. Gary, that is a uh, chemical term that people learn when they take things like general chemistry, organic chemistry. Actually, that's all you'd have to take to, to learn that term, just like basic chemistry, which you should have taken for a biology degree, but maybe you slept through that class. I'm not sure. You have a cyanide moiety. It is not toxic as a ligand, as a moiety. That might sound weird. Well, how can something be toxic as an isolated chemical as hydrogen cyanide but not toxic when it's bonded to something else. Let's just take amino acids. Amino acids have an amine group, which is ammonia, okay? Ammonia is toxic. Now Gary promotes high protein diets, which I do as well, but we have to apply logic symmetrically. So if we're going to apply Gary's logic symmetrically that cyanide, even if it's bonded, is bad for you, then we have to apply that logic to amino acids as well because ammonia is also toxic. But when it's bonded to an amino acid, it's not toxic. And when your body needs to remove it, it doesn't just remove ammonia and then let it float around causing all kinds of toxicity, no. It is taken through a series of transfers and reactions where it is bonded to other things, rendering it not toxic. And it finally winds up on something called urea and it's excreted as a non-toxic form of ammonia. Again, it never enters circulation as free ammonia. It is not toxic when it is bonded. Cyanide is not toxic when it is bonded in something like cyanocobalamin. And cyanocobalamin, the cyanide moiety, can be transferred through various reactions and it is metabolized into thiocyanate, which can be excreted and is not toxic. Cyanide, isolated hydrogen cyanide, toxic. Cyanide moiety bonded to something else, not toxic, just like Ammonia, toxic, bonded to something else, no longer toxic. Too many people are talking about chemicals and quite obviously not enough of them have taken basic chemistry or they don't remember it or they weren't paying attention or they copied off the person sitting next to them. I don't know, don't care, this is But just for the sake of around and find out, let's assume that it was toxic that the cyanide molecule on cyanocobalamin was toxic. Well, fortunately, I can do math. So, let's just do some quick math, shall we, where we can talk about how many Celsius energy drinks it would take to actually cause cyanide poisoning. So, for an 80 kilogram person, it's about 120 milligrams of hydrogen cyanide you need to start getting in the realm where you could be poisoned by hydrogen cyanide. Celsius energy drink has six micrograms of cyanocobalamin. The molecular weight of the cyanide moiety is 26 grams per mole. The molecular weight of cyanocobalamin overall is 1,355 grams per mole. I'm not gonna explain moles because if you haven't had basic chemistry, you're not gonna get it. Just trust me on this one. It's how we standardize things, okay? Cyanide, therefore, makes up 1.9% of the molecular weight of cyanocobalamin. So, six milligrams of cyanocobalamin 
times 1.9% equals 0.115 micrograms of cyanide molecule. There are a thousand micrograms in one milligram. Remember, it takes 120 milligrams. So if we take 0.115 micrograms of cyanide and convert it to milligrams, we get 0.000115 milligrams of cyanide. If we divide 120 milligrams, the poisonous dose, by 0.000 zero, one, one, five, we get the amount of Celsius energy drinks you would have to drink to get close to a toxic dose of hydrogen cyanide, assuming it was actually toxic, because remember, it's not because it's bonded. But again, we're just around and finding out. It would take 1,043,478 Celsius energy drinks in order to poison you if it was free cyanide, but remember, it's not. I'm not paid by Celsius. In fact, I don't even really like Celsius energy drinks. I think Monster tastes way better, personally, and Ghost. Those are my, if I had a Mount Rushmore of energy drinks, it's Monster and Ghost are up at the top, and then there's kind of everybody else. But I'm also not okay with lying, or maybe he's not lying. Maybe he just never took basic chemistry. I don't know a biology degree that doesn't require basic chemistry. Maybe he fell asleep in class. Maybe he copied off his neighbor. Maybe he just didn't really pay attention and just memorized the information and then regurgitated it for a test and then forgot about it. I don't know, don't care. What he's saying is demonstrably untrue. Again, it's not toxic. It's not. It is bonded covalently. Look up the word covalent, okay? It is bonded, therefore not toxic. I don't really know what else to say. I mean, this is just so dumb. I, I, I don't, like, if you haven't had basic chemistry, just stop. This guy, followed by millions of people trusted by celebrities. I don't know if you guys know this. A lot of celebrities haven't had chemistry. A lot of celebrities believe a lot of you believe I believe before. Thankfully, I did a high level science degree. And one thing that science does when you do it right, it can inoculate you against Also, you realize that people like this have the same shtick. It's all the same crap. It's, ooh, be careful of this thing. And notice he said, drink bang instead because it's methylcobalamin. Well, methylcobalamin may be a little bit more bioavailable, as a form of vitamin B12, who cares? Uh, you, most people don't have pernicious anemia. Most people are not deficient in vitamin B12. Some vegans are, you can supplement. Not a big deal. You don't need to worry about freaking cyanocobalamin. What you need to do is get your ass out of the seat, get your ass off Instagram, go to the gym, train hard, and be consistent with your nutrition, and stop worrying about dumb like this who want to confuse you with very confident but ignorant speeches. By the way, FYI, Gary, still down to debate anytime, anywhere. We can share references beforehand. You've backed out of multiple debates with me now. So anytime you would like to do it, we can do it. You're the one that reached out to me originally about being on your podcast. And then once I agreed to everything you wanted, then you backed out of it. So, please, if you would like to actually have an engaged conversation, I'll be ready. Take care.